All right, for this pro tip, I want to talk about using Excel's filled map visual for quick geospatial analysis. Now, recent versions of Excel 2016 plus or Office 365 will include a new type of visual called a filled map to help you quickly and easily plot geospatial data. So in this case, we're going to be looking at state level data with a few different metrics. Here we're looking at household income in column B. Just like any other chart, we can select that range all the way down to 50 states, head to our insert tab, and this map drop down will include one option right now, which is the filled map visual, and that produces something like this. And what's so powerful about this is that just like treating date and time fields, Excel is able to automatically recognize many different types or variations of geospatial information. Things like state names, city names, countries, zip codes, latitudes, and longitudes, which may seem obvious, but is actually quite impressive. Now, if some of your values aren't recognized, like if you've misspelled state names or if you're using strange or unfamiliar abbreviations, you may see a warning symbol pop up in your chart that says something like, hey, we plotted X percent of the locations with high confidence, but the others we're not so sure about. Now, quick thing to note here, again, these field maps are currently unavailable in older versions of Excel pre-2016. And keep in mind, you do need to be connected to the internet for these to function properly. And that's because they're actually powered behind the scenes by Bing Maps. Now, pretty straightforward use cases here. Uh, for one, quickly visualizing regional patterns or trends. Maybe you're comparing census information like we are here with household income or metrics like population, gross domestic product, birth rates, etc. So without further ado, let's jump into our pro tip workbook and practice inserting one of these geospatial maps. Alrighty, from your pro tip workbook, we're looking for our visualization tips here in yellow. We're going to find that filled map Excel 2016 demo. Go ahead and link out to that yellow tab. And here you'll find that state level data. We've got 52 rows here with two different metrics to compare. We've got household incomes in column B, and we have populations in column C. So again, just like any other chart, we're going to start by grabbing the information we want. We're going to grab some of the values from A and B, and then use one of my favorite shortcuts, Control, Shift, Arrow Down, to grab all of the rows within those columns. And then let's scroll back up, head to our Insert menu, and here's our map drop down with that Filled Map Visual option. And there you have it. It was as simple as that. We can treat this chart just like any other chart or object. We can hold Alt as we drag it to kind of snap it to the grid. We can resize to snap to column K. And we have the same access to these design and formatting tools that we would with anything else, like a pie or a line or a column chart. And we can access those formatting options either from the ribbon or from this paintbrush icon with chart style and color options right here. So let's go ahead and navigate to color. Let's give this a similar monochromatic kind of blue tone here which looks like was the default in this case. And then what I want to do is just customize the title here to household income. There we go. And let's create a copy of this chart by selecting the whole object, control C, selecting a cell beneath the visual and control V to paste it. And instead of kind of recreating the wheel here, let's just go ahead and drag the metric that we want over to population. And you'll see that chart dynamically populate here. Now let's give it a different title, population, and perhaps we want to change uh, the color or the style a little bit for this one um, to something a bit different like orange um, or yellow. It's totally up to you. So there you go. In this case, because we're dealing with simple geospatial fields that we know, like state names, we are plotting all of the values in these charts. But if, for instance, we messed up a good chunk of these labels, like deleted them, for instance, you'll see these error or info icons pop up that we can expand to see, okay, we've plotted 78% of those locations with high confidence, and the other ones we've just left with this default gray tone here. And sometimes that gray tone can be a little bit tricky, a little bit hard to see, so it's important to be careful and make sure that you've got consistent and accurate chart labels. Now, all we need to do is Control-Z, to bring those back and you'll see that repopulate in both of our visuals. 
And there you have it, very simple visuals to use, but a really powerful way to integrate geospatial trends and patterns and analysis into your Excel workflow.